Good morning, everyone. Anne Marie Band here. Today is Tuesday, February the 28th. It's the last trading day of February, so we will have a few uh, little bits of volatility in general. My suspicion, since we broke the overnight, in the overnight, we broke the low of the prior day and then uh, popped up. We really need to be careful around this 3985 to 3990 area. I still think it is very, very important. If we don't hold it, we could easily fall into this range. So what we're going to be doing is collecting a lot of the profit that's sitting on our uh, zero to five DTEs that we take consistently on the Benzinga Pro platform. And so from that, what we need to focus on is what the day sits like. So here we are. Remember, what's the first thing you want to think about? First thing you want to think about is, am I above the prior day's close? That is somewhere around 39.90. The answer is yes. The next question is, have I broken the prior day's high? Well, that answer is clearly no. We are still within range. And as a matter of fact, this line here at 4,000 met up with a fair amount of sellers. So what are the traders trying to do? Well, they're trying to hold above the close of the prior day. So in my mind, if I take the close of the prior day as my buy, which I'd want to see it come back in first, then my stop would be all the way down at 83.84. So my preference would be to wait and see if it gets to, to 83.84 and then take the trade, move up through 90. If it can't hold 90, I cut and run. If it does hold 90, I stay there and let it uh, grind me upward into, you know, the 4,000 level, maybe 4,007. All right. We have very little uh, overnight motion. It's very, very quiet. Okay. We've got oil in backwardation. We've got, which implies tight supply for the future. So oil is moving sideways. We don't normally take a look at oil, but let's, uh, let's grab a peek. Okay. So this is last month and this is the current month. Notice we aren't headed lower, but we also aren't headed higher. And so this is a range bound event because I suspect there's a group of folks that are thinking, Hey, we're going to get, um, either deflation or some kind of sharp recession, and that's gonna to continue to bring down energy. The fact of the matter is, people are not making enough oil, <clears throat> and the SPR, the Strategic Petroleum Reserves, have put a floor at 72 because they've said, when it gets into that area, we're gonna refill the supplies, which really has been, um, you know, Hopefully they, they do that because that's been great. So it's put a floor there. And so people are buying off of the bounce. If you do buy oil, that's going to be the region to look at it. But please do remember that we are inside. We are an inside month. And that inside month means very, very sideways action. All right. Now let's go to, I don't know why it came to me to do oil. I think it's pretty important. Uh, let's look at the cues. Cues are struggling, <clears throat> but... They are still at the top of their range. So it's very much stronger than the ES. And so this is what we're looking at. We're holding the close of the prior week. We are holding the close of the prior day, though not as strongly as it's happening inside of uh, the ES. The levels to watch, we did not break the low here. So this one looks fairly sideways and if the strength comes from the nq then it could be telling us that we're okay for some more sideways motion for the next few days i am concerned that we have a deep fade that flushes everybody out of their uh longs and then it turns right around and moves up which has been the case for several days and so what we want to see is this move back into the space of support we buy there we take it up into the resistance zone. If it loses this edge, step out of the way if you're thinking about being long, or if it loses the edge, you can take the short, but then your stop has got to be these wicks over here, and that's about 20 points wide. All right, so that's what we're looking at there. If we take a look at SPY, same sort of thing. Um, 
we have the extended hours showing here, correct? Yes. All right. So, um, interestingly, this one, uh, not doing as well. I'm, I'm surprised there. So we've got this sitting right on the edge of the prior day's close. And so we really want to see this lift. Could we have a very sideways day? Yes. The bottom line is, if you want to buy, sit on your hands and wait for price to come to you. Or if we get up over the edge here, let it bounce, pull back on that 15 minute candlestick, let it bounce again. Then you can take the long and you know where your stop is based on the candlesticks that came back to retest the level. And then you're off to the races. Maybe we get to 400, maybe we don't. Okay, so again, my thought is we could see some increased volatility for whatever reason. And so what we're going to be doing is, um, what we're going to be doing is covering some of these uh, positions out. I, did I just lose the internet? What's going on here? Okay, whatever. Uh, sorry, we can't see the, oh, there it comes. Okay, <clears throat> same thing here. Not quite up over the close of the prior day. Again, weakness here. We'll see what the, the structure is for the spy and uh, we'll work on that as it goes. All right, so again, if you're looking at things like this, you wanna come into support. If we can't hold the open of the prior day, there's real weakness. The real test is, can we hold the close of the prior day? So far, Q's not doing it. So the NQ is showing strength, but not a lot. The Q's are not showing as much strength. And everybody looks like we're building an inside candle today. So let's see how that goes. It's going to be another choppy day of trading. So stay frosty.